Hi kindergarten, it's been a while since we've last talked. You guys had a couple days off which I hope was really fun and well relaxed. This week we will also have four words, so two today, two tomorrow. You will then review your spelling words for the week on Thursday and Friday will be your spelling test. After this week, everything should return to normal until we hit another long weekend. So now that I've kind of explained the schedule of things, let's go ahead and get started. Please turn to page 44 if you have your spelling pages out. That's a four and a four, really simple. Let's start with our first word, which is ice. I need to freeze some ice so that my drink will be cold ice. Just like we've always done when spelling kindergarten, we're going to go ahead and stretch those sounds in the word I. -s. Well, our beginning sound is I and that's really simple. We have the letter I from the phonogram I, I, E. So we have I, S. The next one that we have is the letter C from the phonogram K. And then lastly, our last letter is we have another silent final E. So we have the letter E from the phonogram E. -E. All right, kindergarten, I'm going to give you some time to figure out whether or not the word ice has any markings. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Right off the bat, we know that we have a silent final E. That is rule number one. And when we have silent final E rule number one, it states that the E jumps over the consonant and makes the vowel say its name. So remember kindergarten, a vowel is A, E, I, O, U. So our vowel here, if you look at the screen, is the letter I. And rule number one says that the E jumps over the C and makes the vowel, the I, say its name. Okay? So we have I, S, ice. And because it's rule number one, we have to put in a couple markings. So first we're going to go ahead and underline the E two times. We're going to put a one because it's rule number one. We're, we also have to underline the I as well as the C. There's also one more marking and it has to do with the sound. So if we say the word ice, we hear that the letter C makes its second sound. So we know the letter C has two phonograms, phonogram sounds, which is k, s, and in ice, i, s, we say the second sound, which is s. We don't say ike, that wouldn't make any sense. So because we say the second sound, we need to put a two on top of the C kindergarten. And that's all for the markings. So let's go ahead and spell ice together. I, C, E, underline the E two times, put a one beside, underline the I and C, and put a two on top of the C. Oh boy, that's a lot of markings, kindergarten, but I hope that all makes sense. It's nothing new that we've done before, it's just being able to apply what we know about our sounds and silent final E rules. Okay, moving on. Our next word is play. Would you like to play at the playground with me? So let's go ahead and stretch those sounds out again, kindergarten. P O A. Our beginning sound starts with a P, and we know that we have the letter P from the phonogram P. P O. We have L from the phonogram O. 
and after that we have a two letter or buddy photogram and that is a two letter a that we do use at the end of English words and kindergarten what do we do when we have a buddy or two letter phonogram that's right we have to underline it so I'm gonna go ahead and underline a two letter a that we do use at the end of English words and those are the only markings we have for play. Let's spell play together. P L A Y underline the A two letter A that we do use at the end of English words. All right, kindergarten, you may move on to writing your sentences as well as finishing up printing the rest of your words. I encourage you to try and challenge yourself and make your sentences creative or different. Try not to use really simple words such as I play ball or the ice is cold. If you can make your sentences much more interesting or fun like do you want to play with this basketball or the ice is in the freezer so it's cold, that would be great because it'll prepare you for grade one where you will have to write different types of sentences. I hope everyone has a good rest of the day. I will talk to you all tomorrow for Wednesday's spelling words. Happy spelling, kindergarten!